Well, welcome back to the Water Mines Podcast Studio. I have the pleasure of Pam Moss joining me again. She's the Application Development Manager for Hawk. She's an instrumentation god specialist and just a <laughs> fantastic does. person to help us out a lot um, with this technology. Uh, the focus of this podcast is going to be on data management. Everyone's out there um, have all these online analyzers and laboratory mm-hmm. equipment and manual entries and everything, creating massive amounts of data. But what we're going to talk about today is what you can do with that so you can actually get some benefit from all this data you're collecting. And so. Pam's going to walk us through that and they explain Hawk's approach to it, and hopefully you guys will get some great insight. Thank you, Jim, very much. I appreciate being here today in y'all's wonderful studio that y'all have set up here at MR Systems. And what we want to look at in this podcast is look at our hot Claros data management solutions. Um, we have two solutions with that, the Hawk WIM solution for water information management solutions and a field data collection tool called Collect. So I want to take a look at that here on the screen. We always ask folks, you know, how do they want to see their data? Um, Do you want to see your data just as like a single point in time as a picture? Do you want to see it in a log book like I always equate it to a scrapbook? Or do you want to see it as a video where you're getting a full picture of all your data? And one thing we always work with our customers as well as MR Systems is let's knock those walls down. Let's not have islands of data. As Jim says, there's a lot of data out there through SCADA, through operator labs, through your certified labs. We want to bring all that information into one central location so the data can be used. You guys can actually look at the data, get to the data really quickly, and really make some data-driven decisions. But our background at Hawk, data's been around a long time. Many of you guys know that Hawk was formed in 1947 by Clifford and Catherine Hawk in Ames, Iowa. Clifford was the chemistry graduate student at Iowa State, and Kitty was the business major. So after World War II, they formed the Hot Chemical Company. So many of y'all know us for that. Test kits, laboratory equipment, process equipment. We also have a big history on our data management side. And actually here in North Georgia, the upstate of South Carolina and West North Carolina is a large history because this started with a researcher by the name of Dr. Blackwell over in the Greenville-Spartanburg area. Doing a lot of research in the early 1980s, you know, the Clean Water Act came out in the 70s, Safe Drinking Water Act. He was doing research with Greer, with uh, the old Western Carolina uh, Water Sewer um, Authority, and he needed a way to organize his data. So he hired some young computer programmers to move to Greenville, and they came up with a solution called DataStream. From DataStream, um, really Scott Dorner, um, who was the young programmer, his dad, John, was a manufacturer's rep. Dr. Blackwell didn't want to be in computer sales. So he sold the solution to Scott and to John, and they rebranded it as Op Systems. I hate to show my age, but in the late 80s, I was actually at DataStream when they were in a house in Greenville. See, look, we're all connected, aren't we? And then they moved into a huge building prior to becoming acquired by Hawk. But... uh, We've been banging around data stream and winds for many years, yeah. and, and it's just interesting. You know, you go to a meeting, it, it, it was a house turned into an office, yep. but it was yep. basically a house back in the day. But it's uh, it's come a long way, but it was pretty advanced even back in the 80s. And it's that. funny because Jim went to Clemson, I went to Furman. I graduated in 1980, so it seems all these things just all tie back together at some point in time, don't they? They sure do. They sure do. But anyway, so back in the early 2000s, Hawk said, it is about the data. And we do the lab, we do the process. We went to all of our customers, many of you out there, and said, who do you use? Y'all said Op Systems. So in 2007, Op Systems came into the Hawk family. Marketing rebranded as Hawk Wims Water Information Management Solutions as the Water Quality Data Management Platform. And currently in North America, which is U.S. and Canada, we have about 2,000 utilities and companies using the solution for their water quality data management needs. And that's everyone from the small 1MGD wastewater plant, our small town of 30,000 people for drinking water, 
all the way up to the really, really large cities, uh, large, very large contract operations firms using that solution. So some really exciting stuff going on. Uh, this is part of, in Hawk, our Claros platform. Uh, Claros is our water intelligence platform. Uh, Claro means clarity. Yes, I understand in Spanish for those who um, have been to South America and the Caribbean. Um, but we, we're looking right now at data management, um, but it's really all about how this stuff relates. And that's what Hawk's doing now on the Claros platform is to have this stuff better relate and have better, better visibility through instrument management, process management, and data management. But let's just look at the data terrain. You know, I'm all about when I go to plants, and I, I know Jim does this too here at our systems. There are just there are just so many islands of data, log books everywhere. Um, it's hard for a lot of folks to get to data. There are many plants who don't have SCADA systems still, um, and for those who aren't, you know, you need to take care of that. <laughs> But the idea with data management is we want to be able to bring all sources of data into one location. In our case, it's Hawk Wims. But the idea is we want to be able to interface that data automatically from SCADA systems, from laboratory instruments or larger cities have LIM systems, lab information management systems, from field data collection tools. Ours is called Collect. Um, there are others that are out there on the market. But the idea is to get it into one central platform where all your data is located so that you can use those built-in tools of uh, reporting, of graphing, of logbooking, et cetera, to really drive towards knowledge and optimization within your plant processes, whether you're a municipal wastewater plant, municipal drinking water plant, an industrial wastewater plant, water plant, um, paper pulp, you name it, water's water. And we've got to really move that data into an area, knock down the walls so that everybody has visibility to that data to be able to easily use that data, get to it quickly. Trend, we've talked about this before, trending process data with your lab data, really taking a look at that data and driving your processes. So that is what Hawk Wilms and Collect and our data management world is about, is making all that visible. Some of the things we, obviously this is a short podcast, but when I, when I go around to all the plants, these are really the things that people want to do in this slide, these six things. We really want to combine data from field lab and operations quickly so folks can get to it. Automate as much as you can. Take advantage of the new skills out there. We're all carrying you know, phones, tablets, et cetera. Take advantage of the new skills. There's some awesome technologies that are out there. Um, most states are going electronic reporting. Take advantage of those processes. Don't retype things. Don't redo. We all kick decimal points. We all do that. Thirdly, we want to spend time analyzing the data. We don't want to spend time gathering the data. We do not want to have to go through logbook after logbook to get to it. We want to be able to hit a button and get to it. Auto report. Track and schedule your samples so you stay in compliance. And monitor your ongoing performance through, in our world, is dashboarding and looking at key performance indicators, very similar to SCADA, you know, the HMI interface you guys do in SCADA. Keep it visual so we all know what's going on so everybody in your team is there. But that's really basic of the summit, what we're trying to do at Hawk is give you solutions, whether it's collect for field data collection quickly for quick visibility, whether it's Hawk WIMS, either as an online environment or a client server license, but be able to get information Interface it with SCADA, interface it with your limb systems to make it visible to all. And really optimizing this data really puts the knowledge of the experienced operator that's lived with the plan and knows exactly what's going on by looking at the water or smelling the water in the hands of the inexperienced operator and yes. even better in the hands of the administrator. So they actually know what's going on at their facilities also. So it's, it's, yeah. it's really a great tool for all that so we can make sure that everyone can use this data to provide better treatment and really not just collect a lot of data yeah. um, but use that data um, for the better good and, and more efficient operations and i'm just flipping through some sides because we could go on graphing forever um, but it is truly make it visual get it graphical and you're doing some great things with trending and SCADA, but we really want to bring in all your field, your lab, your process into one thing and really fine tune, as Jim said, within your processes. So. Well, that's some great stuff. And again, yeah. I appreciate you joining us today. And, and hopefully you found it beneficial. If you have any questions, just put them in the Happy comments to. below. And we'll be glad to try to help you out. But thank you again, Pam. Okay. And 
Look forward to seeing you soon in the future. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate you being here.